Good morning, I'm Sean. I'm Julie. Welcome to Chicory's Travels. We're currently at Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Jupiter, Florida. The park, named after the leader of a group of Quakers who was shipwrecked near here, is set among a beautiful landscape of sand pine scrub and flatwoods, as well as river swamps. The Loxahatchee River, Florida's first federally designated wild and scenic river, runs through the park as well. There are two campgrounds located at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Pine Grove Campground has 90 full hookup sites with water, electric, and sewer. It's located nearest to the ranger station. As you can see, the gravel sites are all very large and placed around two one-way loops. Each loop has two bathhouses with a washer and dryer. Also, each site has its own picnic table and fire ring. Here you can see the size of the site based on our 42-foot fifth wheel. Four miles from the park entrance near the Loxahatchee River is the river campground, which has 54 smaller sites with water and electric. One of the great things about this park is the wide range of activities available. Over by the river, there is a large picnic area with a playground. At the concessionaire, you can rent bikes, boats, and kayaks to take out on the river. They also sell t-shirts, snacks, and they even have a food truck outside by the patio. The park also offers ranger-led tours on their boat that will take you to the 1930s pioneer homestead of Trapper Nelson. There's even a swimming area along the river, but the alligator warning kept me from wading in. For bike enthusiasts, the park offers paved multi-use trails, as well as the Camp Murphy off-road bicycle trail system which is a nine mile network of mountain trails with loops rated from beginners all the way to black diamond experts only. Finally, there's plenty of hiking to be found among the three scenic nature trails that wind through the park. And for another perspective, take a walk up Hobie Mountain, which at 86 feet above sea level is the highest point in Southeast Florida. So usually when I'm in Florida and I go upstairs like that, there's a water slide at the top to ride down and not here. Just a view. A nice view though. The top of the observation tower will give you a view of the Atlantic Ocean, the intercoastal waterway, and the entire expanse of the park. From here you can also see remnants of Camp Murphy, which housed the Southern Signal Corps' top secret signal school during World War II. As many as a thousand buildings were constructed and approximately 5,000 men were stationed here during an almost three year period. Due to the secretive nature of the base, they closed off a portion of the old Dixie Highway, which you can now walk or hike down this abandoned road. And if you want to go to the beach outside the park, you can visit a unique one called Blowing Rocks Preserve. It's only nine miles away, and it contains the largest Anastasia limestone outcropping on the state's east coast. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more.